For pure branding savvy, it'd be tough for any madman to top Kim Kardashian. Her brand, herself, has long since eclipsed her reality star beginnings. At a recent blowout wedding with bold-faced names, designer dresses, and TV rights, was just business as usual. But now a twist, and questions about how the business might threaten the brand. Here's ABC's John Donvan. Why did Kim Kardashian file for divorce? So the story breaks in the entertainment world today. Was her 72-day marriage to Chris a giant TV stunt? And are we really supposed to be surprised? Married just over two months, Kim files for divorce from Chris. Really? This fairy tale is over after 72 days. 810 this morning, a Los Angeles courthouse, Kim Kardashian famous for being famous, files for divorce 72 days after saying her nuptials in a televised broadcast on the E! Network, a four-hour ceremony that cost $10 million, which works out to $138,000 per day that she and pro basketballer Chris Humphreys were man and wife. And take you to be my wedded husband. And though on the program they said it out loud, Kim, as a symbol of my love for you with this ring, I'd be wet. And until death to us part. It seems they won't, after all. After careful consideration, I have decided to end my marriage, Kardashian said in a statement. I hope everyone understands this was not an easy decision. I had hoped this marriage was forever, but sometimes things don't work out as planned. We remain friends and wish each other the best. His statement said simply, I love my wife and am devastated to learn she filed for divorce. We heard that Kim really wanted this to make it work. She really thought that this was it for her. This was her fairy tale wedding. Um, but Chris definitely did not put any effort in towards the end. This is big stuff for some people, like those in New York City keeping vigil this evening outside one of the Kardashians' several retail outlets. But really, a surprise when you consider the pattern we have to show business weddings. Jennifer Lopez and Chris Judd, four months. Mario Lopez and Ali Landry, two weeks. Britney Spears and Jason Alexander, 55 hours. But with all due respect to what are quite possibly the genuine feelings of the bride and groom and divorce is never easy and it's her second, is it really unreasonable to ask whether maybe divorce was in the script all along? Consider, a sex tape made her famous. Big scandal, big fame, followed by big money with the modeling jobs and the acting gigs, a perfume line, a voluptuous new scent, magazine covers, and all of it predicated, all of it predicated on enough of us giving a hoot about this. No hoot, no loot. Here's the thing though, happily ever after, boring. Divorce opens the door to whole new chapters. So was it in the script all along? You can have kids, which is always an interesting plot point for a reality show. And a divorce is obviously an interesting plot point. People like drama. Reality shows are about drama. Really? As if nobody saw this coming? I think everybody saw this coming. I think Stevie Wonder saw this coming. There's lots of cynicism and doubt about the marriage to begin with. Yes, this is no big surprise. Come on, they were dropping hints all over their reality show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. There was that awkward conversation about her not taking his last name. I live in a different world. I was definitely raised in a different world than like Yeehaw, Minnesota, and Kim, that's fine. four years ago, you sold clothes in a boutique in the valley. So now, like, all of a sudden, you're Miss Princess. You knew what you were getting into. With what? With my work ethic, with everything my that I do. My work ethic. Yeah, if that's it, like, keeping my Kardashian name is a business decision. If you don't understand that, then that's a problem for me. Okay, well then, maybe we have a problem. And there was the scene where Kim's sister, Chloe, who has her own basketball player husband, is all but predicting a breakup. Kim falls in love with everyone. And that's great, but her nickname isn't Elizabeth Taylor, just for the diamonds. Well, maybe it is all real, and if you give a hoot about this, that's probably worth more to Kim than even her best wedding gift. I'm John Donvan for Nightline in Washington.